Hi Carlos! It's Riley and I am back today with another Adri video for you all. Today I wanted to film another Adri 101 video and I kind of wanted to talk about age regression ages. Now up front I'm going to say I won't be going into details about all the ages because this video would be very very long but I am going to give you some general information that might help guide you in the right direction of figuring out your regression age or range. Understanding your regression age or range can help you prepare and plan properly for your regression. But not everybody has a specific age or range and that is totally okay. And some people have very large ranges, like myself. My regression age range is from 0 to about 14 or 15, but I am most commonly between 1 and 5, but it does range between 0 and 15. In this video, I will describe traits for different ages, names, terms, and tags, but if you guys would like to see more in-depth videos on all of these age ranges, please let me know over on Instagram or Twitter, and I would definitely consider doing those. The first age range is 0 to 1, and that is a baby. Tags for this range are baby re and infant reg, but I'm sure you guys can understand that there are more tags than that along those lines. I'm just giving you the most basic and most used ones. Baby regressors tend to like bottles, sometimes diapers, pacifiers, and things like rattles or crinkle toys. And toys for baby regressors are usually more simplistic and have less small pieces. Pieces. It's also super common for some baby regressors to be nonverbal or to communicate very little because of how young their regressed headspace is. And also a little disclaimer I forgot to give. If some of these traits apply to you but you still identify as a baby or a toddler, that's totally okay. Whatever labels or terms that you feel suit you best are what you can use. So just because I'm saying that these traits are commonly found in these specific ages doesn't mean that you can't be a different age and still have some of these traits. The next age range is 2 to 4 and that is a toddler. Tags for toddler regressors are toddler reg and tot re. Toddler regressors tend to be a little bit more verbal and they might be able to speak in complete sentences and communicate. They're also usually very creative and curious. Lots of play pretend and lots of asking why. They may wear some cute clothing sets. They may or may not wear diapers or pull-ups, toddlers tend to gravitate more towards sippy cups. The next range is 5 to 9 and that is a kid. Tags for kid regressors are kid reg, kid re, and child re. Kid regressors tend to be more independent. They also like to play pretend and make up games and they're often more social. Kid regressors tend to not wear onesies or diapers and sometimes they'll still use a sippy cup but it's more often than not a cup with a straw or a water bottle or a big kid cup. They also may or may not use pacifiers. They could be interested in crafts, sports, reading, and usually are more interested in physical activity than other ages. And the last age range is 10 to 17, and this is what I would consider a middle regressor. Tags for middle regressors are middle reg, teen re, and tween re. And this is a very broad age range, ranging from preteens to near adults. The traits and interests of middle regressors usually mimic those of whom are biologically that age. I at least personally have found that middle regression tends to, at least from what I've observed, be more of a nostalgia based regression. So thinking back to your older kid years and your tween years and your teen years and kind of reliving some of those innocence, but not like babyish, not super kitty. Middle regressors tend to really like learning. Middle regressors also tend to look 
very different from one another. With the other age range, obviously there can be a lot of variety in it, but I have found that there is an even bigger variety with middle regressors than there are with the other age ranges, just because of how large of a range it is and how many different things can contribute to it. Those are just the very, very bottom line basic Adri ages. If you would like more in-depth videos on these, please, please, please let me know. That is about all I have for you today. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I noticed that about half the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so it would be super cool to see what would happen if you actually did subscribe. But if you would like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram which is at crayons and pencils or over on Twitter which is at crayon kiddo. If you want to support me and my content I have a Ko-Fi linked down in the description where you can tip me for just the price of a coffee and those all really help me out. But if you'd rather spoil a baby I also have a wish list link down there. I love you guys so 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 much and I will see you soon. Goodbye!